Hey guys, this is Daniel James. I just started my first electrical engineering course in college, and today I was, giving, I was given an assignment in my lab that told me to do the following. In LabVIEW 2012, I had to design a VI that utilizes an enum case structure and while loop to do the following conversions. Celsius to Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit to Celsius, Celsius to Kelvin, and Fahrenheit to Kelvin. When I saw this, I was pretty confused because I had no clue what to do. But once I figured out what to do, I decided to make this tutorial to show you guys how to do it too. So let's start off by making a new VI. I like uh, snapping the front panel to, to the left and the block diagram to the right. Now, let's start off by adding an enum. Click on the front panel and hit control space for quick drop and let's type in enum. Hit enter. Now we'll put it somewhere, we'll put it right there. Okay, this is our enum. Now let's make a numerical control. Hit control space, type numerical control, enter. Oops, let's try that again. Numerical control and hit enter. We'll put that right there. Now we're going to call this our input temperature. We can resize this a bit just to fit it in. Now we're going to make a, we'll add another uh, numerical indicator. And we'll call this our output temperature. Resize it a bit. Okay, so we have our three things. We have our enum, our input temperature, and our output temperature. Now, right click on the enum and let's hit edit items. Alright, so first off, let's hit insert. What we, what the, uh, the conversions we want to do are Celsius to Fahrenheit. Let's start off with that. So C to F, hit enter, then Fahrenheit to Celsius, F to C then Celsius to Kelvin, C to K, enter, then Fahrenheit to Kelvin, F to K. These are our four items we want. Now, before you uh, leave that, make sure you hit display format and change this, uh, click numeric and then click decimal. Otherwise, it uses floating point, which we don't want. So click decimal and OK. Now, if you look at this enum, it says C to F, and if you click the little down icon, it switches between the four inputs we gave it. C to F, F to C, uh, C to K, and F to K. Let's start off with the first one again. On the right side, let's make a case structure. So hit control space and type case structure. Now we'll make it fairly big because we're going to have to put some other stuff inside this case structure. First of all, we want to link this enum to the case structure. Just hold your mouse near the right side of the enum until you see this icon. Click. Now drag it to the question mark on the side of the case structure. Alright, now did you see this? This case structure's options changed. By default, it'll only show the first two options from our enum list. To fix that, just right click anywhere on there and we'll hit add case for every value. Now, if you click this down arrow here, you see a list of all the four values we had in our enum. Let's just start off with the first one, C to F. Make sure it says C to F on both sides. Now, inside this case structure, we're going to create a math script. Be sure you have the math script, uh, the math script add-on attached to your lab view. Otherwise, this is going to be a lot harder. So, let's hit Control Space and type math script node. We'll make a pretty big box in here. Okay, so first of all, we need to uh, right click on the right on the left side of this and hit add input. Now when we're converting from C to F, our input is going to be C. Now let's type the equation we'd use to get from Celsius to Fahrenheit. That equation is uh, the equation is F equals 32 plus C times 
5 over, no oh, sorry, 9 over 5. Let's try this. Uh, make sure you have all the parentheses and everything in the right spots. 32 plus c times 9 over 5. Let's see if there's a better way to do this. Maybe I should use a bracket. Let me try that. Oh, capital C, that's why. There we go. So now it's all valid. There's no X's, right? If we right click on the right side of this math script no, uh, node and hit out, add output, hey, look, it automatically figured out what our variables are. Our output, let's click F. So we start off with a C for Celsius and we want to end up with F. Here's F. Now, let's link the input temperature to here. First of all, click on the wire and just add a little, click, uh, attach it to the case structure right there. Now go from there to the input of the math node. Now we'll draw a wire from the output of the wire, uh, output of the math node, to somewhere in the case structure, and from there to the output temperature. So now what we just did was we set an enum. As long as if the enum is C to F, whatever temperature we put into our inter, whatever number we put into this input temperature box will go through this function and end up with this uh, and end up as a number in this output temperature. And if we put a Celsius number, it'll come out as a Fahrenheit number. But uh, if, if you notice, there's no run button here yet because it, you can't run this function until all the all four enum value values have been solved for. So the C to F is good. Let's go ahead and switch to F to K. Uh, sorry, F to C. So now we have to add a math script, no, uh, math script node. So Control C, math script node. Create another box in here. Add an input on the left side. Called sorry. We'll call this input F. So we want the oops. We want the equation here. We want the equation for C. So C equals f minus 32 times 5 over 9. Now you have to uh, be really careful with your equation, uh, how you type out your equation, because it's pretty, it's kind of picky. If you don't get the exact right numbers, it won't work. So this is good. Now if we right click here, add output, it automatically gives us C, which is what we want. So now let's link this input temperature from here to the math node and from the output of the math node to the uh, case structure. Alright, so now we've solved for we've solved for C to F and now F to C. Let's go ahead and do C to K. Add a math script. Math script node. Add an input on the left side called C. Make sure it's capitalized. And K equals C plus 273.15. Okay, that's pretty simple. We'll right click. Output. We want our output to be K. Alright, link this wire to this wire. Link K to here. Now, one last one, F to K. Add a math script. Uh, math script node. Right there. We'll, uh, input on this one will be F. So, oh, sorry, F to K. Yeah, F. So we're going to have K equals K equals 5 over 9. 5 over 9 times F minus 32 plus 273.15. Alright, that's all good. We'll right click here, add an output of K. Now link the wires, input, and now the output. And now, as soon as we did that, this run button came. So let's go ahead and try something, okay? 
We'll put an input temperature. Okay, we'll set our enum to C to F, Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now let's put an input temperature we know. For instance, let's try 100 and run this. And perfect. We got our we put our, we put in our Celsius temperature and we came out with our Fahrenheit. Now let's try switching from let's go to an enum of Fahrenheit to Celsius. Let's try 32 degrees Celsius and run this. Perfect. We got uh, zero degrees Celsius. So what we just did is we uh, we managed to make a VI that uh, that causes conversions from Celsius to Fahrenheit, uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius, Celsius to Kelvin, and Fahrenheit to Kelvin. However, the problem I had said that we also had to use an enum, a case structure, and a while loop. I have an enum and a case structure, but I don't have a while loop yet. So let's go ahead and make that. On the right side, hit Control C and type while loop. Enter. Now all, we just have to make a big box around this whole thing. Leave a little space on the bottom and right. Now this is a while loop. Now we have to link a button to this. So on the go back to your left side on the front panel, right click somewhere and we'll add a button called the stop button. We'll put it maybe right there. Now we can just move it around a bit. We'll move it here. Now run a wire from the right side of the stop to the actual stop button of the while loop. Oops, let me fix that wire. From here to here. So now what's going to happen is we have our, let's set our enum, C to F, okay? As soon as I hit run, this function is going to, uh, because of the while loop, this function will just continually run. Unlike before, it won't just give me an answer and then stop. Here, it'll give me an answer and just keep going so as soon as I start typing something else it'll continually give me the new answer let's try this let's hit run now if you see this it's just continually going C to F okay here's our temperature let's try a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius and see what happens as soon as I type 100 and hit enter there we go there's my 212 Fahrenheit let's let's have an input temperature of 100 but going from Fahrenheit to Celsius and there we got 37.7778. If we hit this, uh, if we go down another, we got input temperature 100, C to K, so we get 373.15 degrees Kelvin. So now, uh, to end this, all I have to do is hit this stop button. And there we go. So this case structure, uh, so this, uh, this LabVIEW project, enabled us to create conversions from different degrees to different degrees using enums, case structures, and while loops. I think I have a neater version right here. Let's window show block diagram. This is what you should end up with basically. Alright, I hope that helped you. Um, and of course on this side you can uh, you can make big things bigger, change the font, make it bold just to make it easier to see, increase the size of the stop button so it actually looks nice. Alright, I hope that helped you. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Alright, thanks.